TIFU by taking a client to the lake. I sell software for a living and a decent decent bit or my job is rapport building and keeping clients happy. One of my clients from the other side of the country was in town for a week and had nothing to do over to the weekend. So I told them we were going to the lake house with some other friends and they could come too. This morning things started going south when we went to a neighbor at the lake's house and he was checking out a new pistol he got. He asked my client if he'd shot one before and he said yes. Before putting his thumb in the wrong place and nearly ripping it off when he fired. Blood everywhere. I thought he needed stitches but he said no. An hour later all of us are going to go fishing walking along the edge of the lake. Apparently he has no idea to look where he steps. I see him about to step on a copperhead so try to grab him. He stumbles and falls over right by it and gets bit on the shoulder. We live in a major city but the lake is an hour away. So I spend an hour long car ride worrying that he's about to start dying on me. Then at the hospital they determined that, in addition to the snake bite, he did in fact also need stitches. He thinks it's funny but now I get to explain this to my boss. TLDR took a client to the lake and he ended up with stitches and a venomous snake bite. Client seems like the kind of person who's at peace with the fact he's a klutz. This dude sounds like a setup for a comedy TV series. You included this guy socially and helped him with his thumb wound and snake bite. If you weren't an ass about it, he probably has good memories of you. In a few months when he calls you to buy software, you guys can have a good laugh about it. I mean, arguably this is pretty strong rapport building. As you now have a common story that is steeped in, hopefully, good memories. I hope that this person at least has influence over the economic decision. Well, now he also owes you his life. That's gotta be worth some software sales, right? Dude needs to be put in a bubble or something. How do you injure yourself that much in like an hour span? That's the kind of attitude of a person who knows he's a huge klutz. Has been through a lot of tumbles before. And simply does not care lol. Honestly. Impressive. But did you get the sale, account? This story would be grand if you happened to sell insurance. So let me get this straight. He almost took his own thumb off and needed stitches. Not only that but he also got bit by a snake? And you got him to the hospital in time and essentially saved his life. And you don't think that's good rapport? He'd probably follow you from company to company. You basically have a customer for life. Welcome to the lake house. Wanna see my new gun? You guided this man through a life or death situation. He was left with scars. And a good story for life. You are bonded now. Dude this is an ofu. If you treat it right, this guy should be your client till the end of time with a story like that. You treated him like a friend and took care of him when he was in need. What more could anyone ask? Well on the bright side, he now owes you a life debt. Because you did save his life. Nobody died and you had a pretty good reddit story. I'd say win, win. Call him Venom, he'll probably get a kick out of it. This sounds like a movie. If you get fired make a movie out of it. Next time just take him to Hooters. He got a Beretta bite and an a snake bite in the same day. Lol I do wonder what he did in a past life to deserve that. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Eracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, 
share, and subscribe.